What's up guys, Maximilian here, back with a uh, quick update, something that I wanted to cover for uh, a little while now. As you saw, a lot of changes are going to be happening to this channel. All the Let's Plays and the continuous videos that kind of take up a lot of space on here sometimes will be moving to youtube.com slash games, and I kind of want to return to the uh, the core of what Miles 93 is about. made a video about this before, but um, with this topic I wanted to talk about Retro Assist Me and uh, the huge undertaking that that was. So a lot of you guys that were concerned about like, what happened to the online warrior? What happened to all this stuff? Well, essentially Retro Assist Me happened. Retro Assist Me was the biggest project I've ever undertaken in my entire life. Uh, we essentially made a movie in just under three months from conceptual phase to complete execution. And for a lot of you guys that don't know, everything that you see that goes up on this channel or the Yo Video Games channel isn't produced by you know, editors and special effects directors and all these other individuals, it's all done by myself. Uh, I've kind of kept that to heart with this channel to try to keep it uh, very much under control, under my control, because I want to, I have a very specific vision when it comes to the type of content I'd like to deliver, and a lot of this stuff on this channel does take quite a bit of time to uh, to create and produce, which is why you didn't see a lot of the online warrior for games such as Ultimate Marvel 3, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, Third Strike, so on and so forth, and that's definitely going to change. There's a lot of new games coming up that I definitely want to cover, and we're going to be broadening the horizons a little bit. I do, I mean, to be honest, guys, I'll just break this off to you right now. I really do like playing a majority of shooters. Um, I'm a very big Halo fan when it comes to Halo 2 and 3. Uh, I'm really excited for Halo 4, and I want that game to be great. But nonetheless, uh, a lot of a lot of the stuff that's gone over the past few months has been really crazy. And ever since, I would say, man, it's been like since February, I worked on Cross Assault, and I had a few videos I had to make for Street Fighter Cross Tekken for Capcom. And then right after that, uh, season, uh, season 2 of Assist Me was just in like full force and at the end of Season 2 of Assist Me, Retro Assist Me was going into production and shooting and pre-planning and location scouting and all this stuff. And that was very daunting of a challenge to try to finish Season 2 while I'm already working on Retro Assist Me. It was tough, man. Um, I just hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed Retro Assist Me. It was the biggest attempt that we've ever had to shoot something that's similar to a film, like a movie. And I want to make a special announcement here that for Retro Assist Me, there's actually going to be a special edition director's cut. That's right, it's not going to include all the tutorial segments because, let's be honest, it's tutorial segments for a game that is over like 10 years old now. And a lot of people know a lot about the game already, and uh, Marvel's fun. Like, Marvel vs. Capcom is legit one of my favorite fighting games of all time. And you guys can probably tell when you hear me playing that game online how much fun I'm having, win or lose. So um, what's going to happen is I'm going to make a special edition director's cut. It will not include the tutorial footage. It'll just be a special edition with some things that we weren't allowed to include on the official product, but we definitely can release later on. And this will be just the live action segments. It's just story related, and it's going to have specific musical cues that we couldn't use from previous uh, the previous episode. So it should be a lot of fun, and it'll be coming in two parts. It'll be the Thanos part and the uh, the part with Captain Commando. Hope you guys will enjoy it. But yeah, uh, in general, I kind of wanted to cover something because we hit a thousand videos, and. Uh, Kind of blows my mind that I've worked on over a thousand videos. A lot of those, like I'd say maybe like a quarter of them, are Street Fighter 4 videos from me playing at Super Arcade like, oh my gosh, like four years ago when Street Fighter 4 was just out in the arcades. And, uh, but a very large majority of them, I can almost tell you every single video how it went, what I did, the decisions I made, and how it all came together in editing. And uh, what I also want to do is to make that easier on some of you guys that might be trying to get into this stuff. The thing that I've tried to um, really, really bring home on this channel is the higher level of production value when it comes to these videos. Uh, even on the most basic and remedial of a video that you see on this channel, whether it's like a basic let's play of things that are just happening on the screen and me talking about it while it's happening, includes a huge amount of production. It's not like I can just throw it, render it, and throw it on YouTube. It involves like color correction, and it involves, involves fade-ins, fade-outs, sound balancing, uh, music balancing with a lot of it, and individual splits just to make the thing an overall better viewing experience. I kind of do that to every single video because I think the uh, the audience, especially you guys that have been sticking with me for so long, deserve it. So um, I hope to bring that level of uh, quality over to the Let's Plays on Yo! Video Games as well. So if you guys are looking forward to high definition, proper, color corrected, good looking HD Let's Plays with, with colored commentary, as well as a lot of fun. That's what I want to bring to Yo! Video Games is a lot of fun because it's Yo! Video Games, dog. It's the most serious thing ever. It's video games. 
I am so excited. I can't wait to start playing games again because uh, over the past few months it's what I haven't really had the chance to do. So uh, I just wanted to do this video as a quick thing just saying thank you. I never really got the chance to say thank you. The thousand video the thousand video video was like a milestone of all the crazy crap that's happened over the past two years to the youtube.com slash miles923 channel, but I didn't get a chance to properly say uh, thank you to everybody for sticking around. And especially the situation I'm in, I, I, I look at this this scenario where I'm, I've made the official tutorial video series and I've worked with Capcom on like a few different occasions now, and most recently for Marvel vs. Capcom Origins. I just got to make the the tutorial series, the official tutorial series for a game that I was absolutely in love with when I was a young teenager, like 13, 14 years old, and I would spend every waking moment trying to find ways to get out of the mountains of where I lived in California, down to the city so I can go to an arcade and play the game as soon as possible. It's, um, it's crazy to think when I'm editing this video that that's what I'm making. I'm actually able to share a little bit of that experience with everybody of how awesome this game was to so many people back in the day. And hopefully Retro Assist Me captured a little bit of that magic that I felt when I was a kid. Uh, I, I, I just put myself in, in, I just think things into perspective. I put things into perspective and I can't believe the, the, uh, the opportunities that I've been given. So I'd actually like to thank Capcom very much for giving us the opportunity. And hopefully the final product came out to something that you guys could all enjoy. And hopefully conveyed the message that, yo, old video games are awesome too. So uh, once again, thank you guys very much. Thank you for sticking around for this update. Check out youtube.com slash yo video games for comprehensive Let's Play footage. And my name is Maximilian. I'll see you next time.